A lot of new information this morning about government snooping or surveillance into all kinds of things on the Internet and phone records. We begin there. We're learning new facts this morning about the federal government's secret surveillance efforts. They not only involve the phone records of millions of us, a program called PRISM also collects data from the Internet. The Obama administration's top intelligence official says the tracking is legal and necessary. Major Garrett is at the White House. Major, good morning. Good morning, Nora and Charlie. The White House insists we are not talking about a surveillance dragnet, but some in Congress fear it might be and certainly want to know more about this program. The Obama administration has already had to admit to sweeping phone tracking and has declassified under pressure some details about that program. As for revelations about new Internet searches, well, they prompted the Director of National Intelligence, James Clapper, to release a statement last night saying that this program is legal, that it is generally focused on foreign nationals, and he said, and I quote, Information collected under this program is among the most important and valuable foreign intelligence information we collect and is used to protect our nation from a wide variety of threats. Clapper also said leaks about this surveillance are reprehensible. PRISM has never been disclosed before. The National Security Agency, already involved in tracking the phone calls of millions of Americans, are reportedly trolling daily through Internet videos, photographs, emails, and blogs, looking for evidence of terrorist attacks in the making. The program has been in place since 2007. Analysts track phone calls and sift through billions of pieces of Internet data, trying to determine patterns. If they notice something suspicious and it involves someone in the U.S., Authorities still need a court order to wiretap a phone or monitor an online conversation. The legal basis grew out of the Patriot Act passed after 9-11. Only a handful of lawmakers knew of PRISM and all were sworn to secrecy. But revelations of the program this week raised alarms from both parties on Capitol Hill. Republican Jim Sensenbrenner helped craft the Patriot Act. I'm angry and I was the one that wrote the law. And I think both the Justice Department and the NSA have abused this by going too far. Democratic Senator Jeff Merkley. Millions of phone records are being collected daily that reveal where you are on your cell phone, who you're talking to, for how long, in other words, all the details except for the actual conversation itself. And what else is being collected? But both the chairman of the Senate and House Intelligence Committees, who've been briefed on the program, argue the surveillance has stopped attempted terror attacks in the United States. Senator Lindsey Graham agrees. I hope American people appreciate we're at war, because I sure as hell do. I hope the American people appreciate that the way you protect the homeland is you try to find out what the enemy's up to. The PRISM program reportedly involves some of the country's biggest technology companies, including Apple. They told CBS News, quote, we have never heard of PRISM. We do not provide any government agency with direct access to our servers, and any government agency requesting customer data must get a court order. The Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court, the same one that authorizes phone tracking, can issue directives that allow the government to have access to Internet servers and the trove of private data they contain. PRISM is now responsible for putting so much information before the president in his daily briefing, it is now the driving intelligence force giving the president a window on emerging and ongoing terrorist threats. Charlie and Nora. Major, thanks.